extend out of the shoulders to lift yourself up much higher than you usually do to go back. Go ahead. Okay, so when you get to this point, I'm sure there's many bodies in the room that would love to be, to, to be at that point, right? Okay, because sometimes it takes a while for us to, you know, to get the core activated to be able to, to get all our stuff up, okay? So when you get to that point, you can't stop. Okay, there's a couple things. You just have to go for it, okay? If you get up to this point and then you stop going, like, I don't think I'm making all the way back and I fall on my face or something, then you're just burning your arms and your core out, okay? So you're up there, you just gotta kinda keep the momentum going, okay? So as you get to this point, push yourself back, even if you collapse and fall on your knees and your face, okay? And go for it. Go ahead, try it. Go ahead, push that. Inhale up. It's so easy, I'm not lifting you that much. Just throw the legs back, even if they drag it on the back. As much. We can be here all day until you do this. Is anybody else close? They just can't like it all the way back? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You need to just keep doing the first exercises, okay? But you have to keep working because this is a practice of the mind as well. Because what the mind does is it's Okay, I've got all this work going on here. I put the hands down and I'm going to push into my arms now. My arms are working now. My legs have to relax. Okay, it's either the legs work or the arms work. You can't have both, can you? So I'm going to pick myself up like this or I'm going to pick myself up like this. But you can't do both. So you kind of, kind of override that conditioning. Squeezing here and tucking in. And even though the body wants to relax here because you're using the arms now, keep squeezing and keep lifting. It's bloody hard, but it's possible. Back down, control on the exhale. 